oh do I just look like a, oh I don't know, do I look like I just like punched myself in the nose? 2020 has just been a wild year. Ma 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 marmalade. Not UFO, UF ho. Oh, I can hear Pinky's little paws just, she just jumped down from the sofa and she's come to sit at the bottom of the stairs. I'm still here Pinks. I'd left her downstairs, but I'd left the TV on just so that she has some noise and that it's not deadly silence that, you know, she has something to kind of distract her a bit while I'm upstairs filming. But the TV was a little bit too loud and I'd left her downstairs for about half, half an hour now. And when I first came up here, I could hear that she was sitting at the bottom of the stairs, but then she got back up and went and put herself back to sleep on the sofa. But I just had to go downstairs because I sat down to film and you could hear the TV so loudly so I just went to turn it down and disturbed her sleeping and now she's waiting, waiting for me at the bottom of the stairs again. She will be allowed upstairs eventually by the way and she will be allowed to come and like sit and chill with me while I'm filming just at the moment we're only introducing her to the downstairs so that she doesn't get too overwhelmed. Also before she comes in here I need to have a massive tidy so that she can't chew anything. Anyway that is besides the point. Hi guys welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing and testing the Mama -ma Mitchell, what's it called? Brand. I was going to say collaboration but it's not a collaboration, it's his own bloody brand, which is so cool. And little sneak peek of what I chose. I got one of the eyeshadow palettes. I've also got one of the blush blush. These are liquid blushes. So I've got one of these and I've got a palette to test. So I'm going to be doing that today. And if you don't know who Mama Mitchell is, he is a incredible makeup artist. I think he's 21 and he's already got his own brand. He is just smashing life. Like having brand collaborations is obviously incredible at any age, but having your own brand at the age of 21 is just mental. He's amazing. He's so talented and I wanted to test out his products. So that's what I'm doing today. He did also to launch some sort of makeup accessories, some travel cases for makeup artists and also some makeup brushes. Let's just get into it. Let's dive in because I really want to put this on my face. The quicker I get this done, the quicker I can go down and cuddle my doggy. There are so many like influencers at the moment that are coming out with their own brands, which I just think is incredible. I mean, they're all smashing it. My previous video was Jamie's brand. This time around it's Mitchell's brand. Yeah, the first time I met him, I was actually kind of nervous because I didn't really know what he was like, but he's actually so lovely. He's so sweet. So congratulations, Mitchell, if you are watching this. Oh, so I forgot to mention the brand is called Made by Mitchell. It's not just called M -M -M Mitchell. And the reason I say it like that is because that's his Instagram name. It's got like three M's and then Mitchell. So it's like M -M -M Mitchell. The eyeshadow palettes were £40 each and the blurishes are £14 each. So again, it's a little bit more expensive. The blurishes are a little bit more on the affordable side. £14, I guess is kind of mid-range, but £40 for an eyeshadow palette is, you know, getting more expensive. I would say that that's high end. In terms of the blurish, they come in six gorgeous shades. They have some really, really bright ones as well. They've got a bright orange, which I actually saw him do a little video on today. Looks absolutely stunning, but just not, a, you know, a bit out of my comfort zone. There's also a bright red, which is called Where's the SPF, which I love. There's a really nice variety of colors and I think colors that will suit a lot of different skin tones. So I like that the blushes are all inclusive. You can also buy the blurishes as a set for £70 and his makeup brushes are £64 for the full brush collection. There were two palettes. There's the Feet on the Ground palette palette and the head in the clouds palette. I went for the head in the clouds palette just because, I don't know, the colours just jumped out a bit more to me. And I think the packaging and the branding for his brand is so sick. This is the palette that I didn't go for. Oh, I can't zoom in. Oh, yes, I can. This is the palette that I didn't go for. So it's, it's not even really a neutral palette. It's got more greens in there and camo sort of colours, but there is, I think, a couple more neutrals in that one. And then I went for the head in the clouds palette, which I f***ing love the design of, to be honest. I need to stop swearing in all my videos. <laughs> Sorry, mom. The problem is, right, in my daily life, I probably swear too much, which is quite bad. But in my videos for years, I've tried to just remain PG. But I've got to the point now where I'm kind of just like, Ugh. you know what, I just want to live my life and just be more myself, I guess. And it just, it just kind of slips out. So as you might be able to tell, I've done my base already. I've done foundation, I've done cream bronzer, I've set my under eyes, and then I've just got a lip liner and a tinted lip balm on. So this is what the packaging looks like for the blush. It's got his initial on the top and it's just matte frosted plastic with the matte neon yellow lid, which I think is pretty cool. So like I said, I've got the shade Peach Sugar and, oh. I don't know why I decided to smell it. It's not a lip product, so it's probably not going to smell. And it doesn't really smell. It just smells like makeup. So the way that I've seen he, him apply these is literally just adding a couple dots onto his face. Oh, that's not in the right place, is it? I just did that where my highlighter normally goes. And then I'm going to use just one of my regular blush brushes. Oh, wow. Okay, they're more pigmented than I thought they were going to be. That is a gorgeous colour, though. And um, 
that blended seamlessly. Although that's probably way too much blush, isn't it? Let's kind of stipple it in and do some swirling motions. Oh my God, they blend so beautifully. Like look how easy that was. That blush color is beautiful. However, as you just saw there, a little goes a long way. I didn't need four dots. I probably could just do with one or two little dots on my cheek. And that was just from one dip. I used, you know, one dip, just a little bit over here, a little bit over here. And that was me done. It blended really nicely and it's blended really nicely into my foundation. I think there's the ever so slightly teeny teeny tiniest bit of shimmer but you can't really see it but it really feels like a cream to matte as you're blending it in it feels really really soft and smooth does that make sense let me just give you a close-up of my cheek how gorgeous is this color okay it looks like a bit of a line here but i think that's my fault because i put my powder like up to here and it hasn't quite like meshed with my powder oh and i think i blended it too low down on this side my application is not the best but as you can see it's a really beautiful color and it's given me a little bit of a glow I think it's really really pretty it looks okay I was gonna say it looks natural it definitely does not look natural <laughs> I have actually seen him put this all down the bridge of his nose should I just try that am I gonna regret this decision probably but I'm gonna try it wait how does he do it he liked a little bit here and here and then just gives himself that little sort of sunburnt look i quite like on him i don't know if i like it on me but we'll try it oh do i just look like a, oh i don't know do i look like i just like punched myself in the nose or someone else has punched me in the nose i don't know why i would punch myself in the nose um what i'm just gonna do is i'm gonna take my foundation brush which has still got a little bit of product on it and i'm gonna try and blend out this bit that i kind of up a little bit that has dulled it down a little bit although i quite like it being vibrant oh i don't know do i <laughs> why do i do this every time i will like blend it out out and powder over it and dull it down and then I'll be like you know what not enough let's put more back on so I guess another way that you can use it is put it onto the back of your hand and then swirl a little bit of that in there and then put it onto my cheeks you know what absolutely no complaints with that I really like it I love the texture of it it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't look heavy it just blends into this nice sort of soft matte finish which is really nice and it feels like it kind of sets on your face very nice and I like that color a lot I can definitely see myself using this again you know what guys I think 2020 is the year that I mastered cream products like for example I'm wearing cream bronzers today which I never used to do this is the so to um, contour stick in the shade warm and I freaking love this as well 2020 has just been a wild year I'm gonna set the rest of my face I'm putting a bit of powder over the top of that blush I don't think it's taking it away too much right oh yeah my nose I'm just gonna add a little bit more powder bronzer I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I will be back to do my eyeballs so I might have drastically messed up my eyebrows but like can we just allow it because i don't even know oh and i've just added my abh primer to my eyelids so they're all ready to go so jumping into the eyeshadow palette first of all it comes with this case which i didn't even realize that it came with this case i didn't even check the website properly i just excitedly ordered this oh i forgot to say it took about two weeks to arrive which was pretty long but when i was excitedly checking out i didn't even notice that it came with this free bag well i mean it's not free it's part of the price you pay i'm sure which i think is really cool actually because it's a reusable thing this kept it nice and protected and if you I mean not that anyone's going on holiday anywhere at the moment but if you were to go on holiday you could put it in this and then the palette itself comes in a box again so it has the pouch it's got the box which has got the hollow M on it which I think this packaging is sick it's also got embossed little M's all over it I just think the design of this looks so nice it's very up my street I do love a good sunset and clouds and then on the inside you get a nice big mirror and then the palette comes with a protective sheet which again has got his logo on it and these are the colors which is an interesting color story it's definitely not your average neutrals palette it's not a neutrals palette it's a brights palette and it's not your typical brights palette either i don't think i've really seen anything that looks like this before it's so definitely something different i'm a changed woman now i like bright eyeshadows when i'm filming and this just really excited me so i guess we'll just dig in the only colors that stand out as being a bit random to me is this gray in the middle and well this one's kind of a purple but there's a gray which is very unusual for a brights palette I think and you would think that maybe I would do a grey look today because I'm wearing quite a lot of grey but I think I'm going to do something super bright inspired by this packaging so I think I'm going to do a wait is there even like yellows in here yeah let's do like a yellowy orange and then a blue on the lid maybe and maybe a little bit of pinky purple this shade is so beautiful the lilac just for 
realized I forgot to do. I haven't put any highlight on. I'm just using my Vive Beauty highlighter, which by the way, Jamie actually commented on my video and she said that when the highlighter dropped out the pan, she nearly threw up and I did reply back to her and I was like, you know what? These things happen. And she did say to me that somebody from her team is getting in touch straight away to replace it, which is very sweet of her, but she doesn't need to do that. In true Mama Mama Mitchell style, I'm gonna have to do a cut crease today. So I'm actually gonna start off with, ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. Um, Let's start off with Night Nympho, which is this bright, pink and I'm gonna take a little bit of this into my crease. Oh wow, okay, that's actually brighter than I was expecting in the pan. It doesn't quite look this bright or does it? Am I being crazy? Oh my god, okay, that's really pigmented. And let's just put this, uh, let's put it through my crease and then I will cut my crease so that it doesn't look as crazy. Um, okay, wow, first of all, that is very bright and very pigmented and I'm gonna try and not do my classic mistake of bringing all the colors up too high too quickly. So I do wanna diffuse this out with a bit of orange. So far so good, this shade is super bright and super pigmented. And then gonna go in with the shade Sunburn, which is this coral shade, which looks really pretty, corally orange. And I'm just gonna buff this into the edges of where I've just done that pink, does that make any sense? Okay, never mind. I should have used a smaller brush because that's just kind of gone over the top of it. Oh well. Well, they make a nice color combo. Okay, so far these are so bright and so pigmented. Little bit of fallout, just a tiny bit. There's also quite a bit of kickback in the pan for this shade, but I mean, am I the only one that isn't really bothered by fallout? Unless it's like falling all over my face and ruins everything, you know? And they're gonna go into M -m -m Marmalade, which I love the name of, which is this bright, bright pastel orange, I would say. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I was gonna wing this out. Why did I not start doing that already? I literally just dipped into the tiniest bit of that. I think these must be pressed pigments. Yes, it is, it is a pressed pigment palette, which explains the vibrancy of these colors and you know, how pigmented they go on. Gorgeous. And so far those shades have blended beautifully together. I'm just taking a tiny bit more of the black pink on this side because I wanted to, yeah, actually on both sides because I just want to try and wing this out a little bit and I didn't really do that at the start. Oh no, now I've made it look weird. Hang on, let me go back into Ma 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 Marmalade. I don't know why I just said it like that. Oh, and I did forget to mention how many mattes and shimmers you got. And obviously as well, it is quite a big palette. You know what, when a palette is square, I don't mind it as much being big, unless it's ginormous. I'm not the biggest fan of huge eyeshadow palettes. This is probably like my limit. I think it's because I'm quite weak and I have small hands and just holding the palette is just a lot, you know? I'm then gonna dip into, oh, I, I keep distracting myself. I was gonna tell you how many mattes and shimmers there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eee! Oh no, I just dug my nail into the orange. So there are seven shimmers and then the rest of them are actually mattes. And you get, I think there's 25 shades in here and they're pretty big pans as well. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for this one, which is called UFO. <laughs> I love that name, not UFO, UFO. So I'm just taking a bit of that yellow and I'm just gonna, okay, I mean, I don't really have any space left on these eyes. Oh, okay, that one mixed with that other color a bit. That's what tends to happen with pressed pigments. When you layer them on top of each other, they kind of like, I don't know, sometimes they can cover up the other shade. I just wanted a bit of yellow, but now I've brought that way too high up. Let's just take a bit more of the orange. Yeah, too much on my brush. Okay, I know that I've taken this too high up towards my brow bone, but let me just give you a close up so far. So far, I'm pretty impressed. They've all blended really beautifully together. I'm really happy with the blend. And the colors are beautifully pigmented. And now I'm about to ruin it all by doing a cut crease. So um, that's fun. But I could just leave it, honestly, like I would just leave it like this, put some liner and some lashes on, do a little bit underneath, and this would be a gorgeous look, but I do want to test some of the blues. So I'm actually just taking my ABH primer again because this is pretty much like a concealer because it covers quite a lot. That'll do. So how am I gonna do this? Oh my God, I really wanna use this blue. <gasps> that blue shimmer, this one called Eclipse. Oh my God, I bet you could do the most gorgeous, oh my God, the most gorgeous blue smoky eye with that. I'm gonna take the shade Skywalker, which is this blue pastel-y gray sky, this sort of color that I'm wearing. And I'm just gonna put this here on the very inner part of my eye. Oh, yes. 
I'm then going to take the shade Bora Bora Blue, which is this one, which is stunning. Oh, that one doesn't seem to pick up as much on the brush. Let's try it on my lid. It doesn't quite come out as bright on my lid as it looks in the pan, like on here it looks electric, but it's not coming out that bright on my eye. It could be due to the fact that I've got a bit of pink mixed in with my base. Oh my god, but that is still stunning though. So I've just put that on the middle of my lid. Oh yeah, it's definitely coming out more vibrant on this side because this side was a bit more white underneath. Damn it, I should have made sure those were perfectly even. Let me just add another layer on this side then. See if I can kind of build it up. You know what, if you used a white primer underneath these, it would just pop even more. Sorry, I feel like the palette is kind of covering the microphone. Right, what am I going to do next? Um, Let's take... Oh, let's go with Cockpit, which is this bright teal green. Green, blue, green, blue, green. I think it's green. Wait, do I really want to use that or do I, do I want to use the purple? No, let's do this. You know what? I haven't really done a look like this before, so let's go in with that. Okay, this one's texture feels a little bit different. It feels a little bit harder in the pan. And this one doesn't quite seem as smooth as the others and blend blendable. It feels a little bit more dry on my eyelid. But, I mean, it's still gorgeously pigmented. Let's try and... Oh, why have I just done that? This looks weird now. I don't know. Let's just keep going. Wait, I haven't done any shimmers. I will. I will do some shimmers. Try and just blend those two shades together a bit more. I'm gonna go back in with a bit more of Bora Blue and let's add a bit more of that over the top. Oh my God, that over the top, that over the top of that shade is gorgeous. Okay, I mean, pretty damn impressed. Let's take a bit more of that pink and I'm just gonna add this. Yeah, see, I don't really know why I've done the blue in the shape because that now looks a bit strange. I wish that I just blended it into the pink like a normal cut crease, but oh, yeah, now how am I gonna fix that? I don't even know, let's just try and hope for the best and blend i've sort of accidentally made a purple outer corner by adding pink over the top of that shade very interesting how these colors are mixing i mean it's probably just basic color theory isn't it but that still looks pretty cool i'm just going to take a tiny bit more of that green because this side looks a little bit dodge wow i am so impressed with these shades i think this looks so cool let me just do my lower lash line quick and for this i'm gonna take the pink again i think i'm just gonna take the pink the orange and the yellow and then i guess we'll take a little bit more of that green to make this purple shade that's on my upper lash line so on my inner corners oh my god this shade called golden hour is so stunning there's Sorry, that was this one. There's one called Better Days, which is a yellow. God, these shimmers look so pretty. Oh, which one do I put on my inner corner? You know what? Let's go with that golden hour shade, which looks like a peach in the pan, but it has a really interesting reflect. Okay, actually, doesn't really like the brush. Like, it came up so much better when I swatched it on my hand than when I used a brush because it's a little bit flaky and crumbly. I am actually just gonna take Better Days, which is the yellow shimmer. I think this will tie the look together a bit better. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one's a bit of a nicer texture. It's not as crumbly. Wow. Oh my gosh, I feel like a tropical bird. I am kind of blown away at these eyeshadow shades. To be fair, I have only used, you know, a selection from the palette. I haven't used all of them, so I can't comment on all of them, but let me just tw swatch a couple. Let's do the white, let's do this pink one, let's do the blue shimmer, because I haven't really used, oh my god. Let's do this shimmer. <gasps> do the white okay even for a white that's a pretty decent swatch from matt oh <laughs> that was from one dip <gasps> that blue oh my god that i think is the most pigmented eyeshadow i've ever experienced <gasps> oh my god these shimmers are stunning <laughs> holy crap okay weirdest looking swatches ever but like oh they're so beautiful oh my god i really 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 want to put that blue on the middle of my eyelid i'm gonna do it it's called twinkle twinkle <gasps> oh 
my god. I'm sorry if this has just ruined the look, but I had to do it. Even with a brush. Oh my god. I need to actually calm down. That shade. Oh my god. I have a feeling Pinky might need the toilet, so I'm gonna have to take her out in a sec. Let's just blend that, like, a little bit over the top of this. Okay, I think that's kind of ruined it. Did that just ruin it? No, maybe not. Um, let's take a little bit of Clouded, which is the silver. And, you know what, guys? I'm showing you two different looks to get today. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So this is what it currently looks like on my lids. It's a bit of a mess, and it's a bit of a weird look, but those colours are stunning. I now need to just go take Pink's out to the toilet and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back from Pinky's toilet break. My camera had died when I came back, but I'm just gonna continue. So I'm actually gonna take a tiny bit of this shade, which is called Twinkle, and I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Oh shit, that is, it's so pigmented. I didn't need that, did I? I really did not need that. Okay, I've changed my mind. I don't want that color there because it's a bit too heavy. Eh, it's too late to go back now. Why did I do that? Now I don't like it. Oh, these colors just keep changing and developing. I'm putting that yellow over the top and it's going green and... I think I'm just gonna have to stop before I take this too far and keep adding all of the colors from the palette. That being said though, I do feel like I need a bit of orange just here, just to merge it all together. I'm just gonna go do some liner and lashes and then I will be back with my final thoughts. So guys, this is what, actually wait, I can take my hair slides out now. This is what the finished look looks like with my lashes stuck on. I say stuck on, I think they're peeling off. I have to say, just from the ones that I used, I am very impressed. I think that this look has, well, it's definitely turned out something a bit different and it was kind of, it kind of ended up being three looks in one because I kept adding more things to it, but I'm really impressed, especially with the blend of the mattes that I first used. Those were stunning and oh my God, this blue, shade is one of the best shimmers I've ever used. I mean, the other shimmers aren't quite the same, but they're still absolutely stunning. Like all of the shimmers that I've swatched from this palette and I have swatched all of them, beautiful. And these mattes just blended so nicely together. I don't really have anything bad to say about it other than I guess it's a little bit more on the pricey side, but yeah, it's, it's really nice. What do you think? I think it looks pretty darn cool. I guess the only shade that I had a little bit of trouble with, but not even really trouble, um, is the turquoise shade that I blended into the pink, but overall, like, it all turned out beautifully. I didn't really experience patchiness, it was just that that shade was a little bit more dry. I'm happy with that. Did I really do it again? And leave my drawer open. Oops. So, my overall thoughts. The blush was really nice. I really liked it and I would definitely be using this again. And then the eyeshadow palette, I really like it. Yes, it is very colorful and if you're a neutrals kind of person, you're not gonna get much use out of this because there's like one, two, three, four, like maybe five neutrals at a stretch in this palette. So it probably wouldn't really be something that maybe you would get that much use out of. However, if you do like a bit of color eyeshadow and you wanna play around with some fun colors, it's beautiful, I think so. Well, the shades that I tested anyway, and I'm really happy with it. Like, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. So good job, Mitchell. Congratulations on an amazing first launch. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Let's answer a question of the day. If you guys have got any more questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day. This is a random fun one. It comes from Know It All Phoenix, and they've said, question of the day, did you have any strange fears as a kid? By the way, love you and your videos so much. Thank you very much. And yes, I did have a bit of a weird fear as a kid. I used to be scared of, I called them hoodies. And by hoodies, I didn't mean like an actual hoodie. I meant people that wore hoodies and had their hoods up. Anybody that was hanging around with their hood up, I used to be scared of, and I would call them hoodies. Like, I think what I was referring to was like a group of people that were like teenagers. Basically teenagers I was scared of when I was younger. Oh, and I also used to be scared of dogs, which I guess is a strange fear now because now I have my own dog. I was scared of dogs when I was really small and I can't even remember really what caused me to like dogs. And the rest of my fears have stuck with me the rest of my life, so let's not go into those. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are doing good. Please let me know what you think down below and if you've got any of these products if you tried them if you like them what you think of this video i would love to hear your thoughts and i will reply back to as many of you as i can and yeah i hope you're doing good and i will see you in, in the next video bye i've just sat down and i've just tried filming a tiktok and i've realized that i had blue fallout on my face that i forgot to brush off and now it's embedded in my face oops